Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for January 24th, 2022. Well, my goodness, we have quite of an quite an interesting day yesterday and first off I want to apologize to everyone I had a computer gremlin running around in there messing up my sound I think it was a Windows update so I apologize there was no video yesterday I attempted to get it done twice before I finally gave up and just went to work on fixing the computer issue let's take a look at these charts here today and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today on this Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out what we want to do today. Yesterday we had a big surge in the market um, pushing up pretty strongly. We had a light day of economic reports. There wasn't really anything and um, wasn't a whole lot of inspiration on the earnings um, as well. But we pushed up strongly here and if we take a look at our Dow what we did is we pushed right into that price resistance but we struggled we ended up seeing those bears come back in defending that area up here um, toward the afternoon pushing us back down so today we have a big round of earnings events out there and some PMI data that could move us around so let's keep an eye on this price level here in the chart if we see those bulls uh, find inspiration well where can we go well i would suspect a push up into here might be likely we hit that little resistance area in here across these levels in the chart now that's actually a fairly substantial move if we take a look at um, the dow itself and we measure from um, here to there up into here we're looking at almost 360 370 points possible for that um, rally up into there so that would be a pretty substantial move on the day we'll want to keep an eye on, um, out for that if those bulls find inspiration and if they can push through those levels well then we just start looking for these levels right up here in the chart to see if we can uh, push up into there now please keep in mind this level that I pointed out here earlier is a big resistance level in the chart in the Dow and unfortunately if we take a look at our moving averages you can see that we kind of struggled right here with that 50 day moving average we get the 50 and the 500 day right there and that's providing just a little bit of a lid on the Dow now if those bears find inspiration on the day well that really the only place we have to go is right back down here to this price support there's a little obviously we could catch some price support right in here and if that doesn't hold then we look for these lows down here to test us and unfortunately I'm going to show you an indicator that shows us that we're already in a um, slightly overbought condition here in the market and if you take a look right there we still have that um, lower high that we need to um, a defeat here if we're going to move higher let's take a look at our SPY now SPY and QQQ had a really good day they were the big winners of the day um, and if we take a look at this chart in here as you can see we broke through this resistance high yesterday um, not so much to be really convincing that we're ready to just power on up but we um, popped up through there and then pulled back um, by the end of the day but certainly big tech was the big winner as we start heading into these big tech earnings there seems to be a willingness to really speculate and rush in uh, to these names ahead of those earnings reports kind of a dangerous proposition considering the overall condition of the market but um, that seems to be the interest of investors out there so let's take a look right here if we continue to find that bullish effort to be, be able to push through then we start stretching up here and we start testing some of these tops right in here whoops my uh, tool changed here to a color you can't even see 
there we go, um, right up into here, we would look for those levels in the chart. And if we can push on through that, then maybe right up into here, we've had this little double top up in here. We've got all of this price action in here showing us that resistance in the SPY. Now, keeping in mind, technically, we've done a pretty good job here pushing back up through our 50 day moving average and above our 200 day. And what we can possibly see is what they call the golden cross, the 50 crossing over the 200 here soon may be possible now unfortunately we still have this problem to deal with however and that is the fact that although we had quite a bullish move here it didn't break that overall downtrend that began in 2022 and you can see we're still struggling against that resistance area so it's one of those things we have to look at you know how many times do we fail against a resistance area like this before we believe it's true um, one of my major mistakes in uh, years past that i repeated over and over and that was over buying or buying up stocks right at price resistance levels in the chart and then um, kind of got my head handed to me uh, many times um, by ignoring those and thinking that the bulls could just automatically push on through. Sometimes they can, sometimes they can't. So watch that carefully here in the chart. Um, QQQ had a uh, zooming day yesterday, just ripped up to the upside. And here's what we have to deal with in the QQQ. We're running in some fairly different or difficult resistance levels in the chart as you can see pressing into these levels so if those bulls continue to find inspiration we'll continue to press up in here into these levels and see whether or not we can test and breach through some of these pretty substantial levels of price resistance in the chart and unfortunately we still have this complication in the QQQ as well where we are dealing with the overall bear trend so we've got a little bit of a double whammy of price resistance right in here in that chart and we don't have nearly as bullish of a trend as we did in the um, SPY as you can see we've just finally made our first higher low here in the chart on the QQQ here recently and as we head into these big tech earnings well, we could have some challenges in these earnings ahead. Um, um, so we'll, we'll want to watch that pretty closely as we test these um, resistance levels. And if those bears were to find inspiration, well, we've created a pretty decent price support right in here in the chart. If we were to pull back now, albeit that would be a pretty big pullback and a painful painful one um, at that if we were to uh, drop back down into that area but it wouldn't be out of the question considering the fact that this is a very very extended upside run here um, creating kind of an overbought condition in some of the indicators out there so watch that closely and if we take a look at our IWM well old IWM we're pumping right back up here into that resistance level of the chart as you can see substantial resistance here and we've attempted this um, several times here in the recent past and we'll have to see if we can continue to push on through here in that chart now the good news here on um, IWM depending on how you draw that trend if we um, look at a trend that runs down through here we have defeated that downside trend and held it as price support if you were to draw that trend maybe flatter right across here well, there may still be a little bit of question whether or not we're going to be able to defeat that area in the chart. But the bulls are certainly in control and we've created this higher low. We'll just have to watch these resistance levels in the chart to see if they can push through. If the bulls can find that inspiration to push on through, then I would look for some pretty substantial upside moves uh, possible. We've got um, some levels right up in here and you can see just it's a little bit of a wide range right up in here and that breakout if that occurs and then they could even push on further here to some of these other resistance levels in the chart on IWM and if those bears if those bears fight here defending this resistance well, a pushback in here, I would suggest, could come all the way back down into here. Um, that is our nearest and closest support here um, in the chart. So 
Watch that closely. Uh, could be some big point moves possible in the days ahead here in the market with all of these earnings reports. Again, technically very good bullish patterns here. 50 about ready to cross up through the 200. That's going to be that golden cross. And we've got a good moving average squeeze setting up in here. So if the bears do come back in and push back down, you can see right through that area, we've got a nice little technical price support level starting to show up in the Russell as well. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. On our economic calendar, we have some interesting things here going on. We've got our uh, PMI composite that's going to be out this morning. Now PMI um, in Europe came out um, and went back above 50. Right now the consensus here in the United States is suggesting that our PMI will remain below 50, which means our economy is still in contraction. We'll want to watch that closely. If it comes in better than expected, we could find that bullish energy from it. If it comes in worse than expected, look for those bears to get a little bit angry and growl. Um, as you can see, the rest of the day, it's pretty darn light. We have some bond announcements, a couple of bond auctions to be paying attention to and money supply later in the day. but not much else to go on on that economic calendar um, as you plan forward kind of be thinking about we've got petroleum status those mortgage applications um, and things on uh, wednesday and then thursday is the full meal deal we're just going to get hit with a bunch of potential market moving reports so kind of keep that in mind as you plan forward and um, i forgot we should have taken a look at the vix here if we take a look at our VIX, you can see that fear continues to drop out of the market. We just don't seem to have any concern all of a sudden about recession, slowing economies. Just doesn't seem to be a problem for us at all. So um, we continue to follow this downtrend. Bulls are in control. They haven't been able to really push back down and um, break some of these recent lows here, but they are moving in that direction. So the bulls are in control there. And if we take a look at our T2122, well, this is a little bit of a problem for us here. Um, our T2122 elevated here dramatically in the last two days of trading, pushing us right back up into that bearish reversal zone. And we've seen this before. And, and again, I know no one wants to hear this. When we have a bullish move in the market, no one wants to hear um, that um, those bears could step back in. But you can see, when we are up here in this area, the high possibility is that they can and they will eventually. Doesn't mean they have to do it today, but they um, can often um, come right back in and pushing us back to the downside. So watch that closely. We're a little extended here um, in the chart up here around 97. At one point yesterday, we were over 98 um, in this um, indicator, suggesting we're a little bit on the stretched out um, situation here in T2122. In T2108, we see the same situation here. Um, we've pushed right back up into these rarefied areas of the chart noticing that um, when we push up through there it just doesn't happen very often that we can push up through these levels and we can hold here very long we've had a couple of really big spikes and remember this was a very different situation in the market when we were pushing these levels in the chart as a matter of fact um, when we were at the top of the market here in uh, 2022 we were only here. So we really pushed this up pretty hard. So you want to watch carefully for that possibility. Again, those bears could push in and relieve some of that upside pressure. Um, T2107 is showing us the same thing. This is the percentage of stocks above the 200 day. We've also pushed up strongly. 56% of the stocks above their 200. And you can see we're pushing into some big resistance areas in the chart. And it's a rare thing to see us push through there. You can see um, we haven't seen too many times that we've been able to sustain um, an upside move um, well beyond this area here in the chart. So watch that closely. Um, let's take a look at our T2101. T2101, interestingly enough, continued to show um, that momentum um, shifting here just a little bit. 
um, in the chart. This was the big upside move, and now we're seeing that momentum kind of shifting a little bit. Volume was a little bit light yesterday, so keep an eye on that. If we take a look um, at our earnings calendar for today, well, our earnings, we're ramping up on those earnings reports, and one thing I want to remind everyone, as we continue to ramp this up, there's no way I can cover all the earnings um, that will be out um, during the uh, in, in the morning uh, prep. So make sure you you know where that link is and it's just below the title of the video. There's a link that'll take you back to the morning blog where I list all the notables for today. So let's take a look. We've got quite a few here. As a matter of fact, I think J&J &J, um, has already reported. We've got a little pop and drop going on in there on J&J &J at the moment. We've heard from 3M this morning. It looks like 3M is moving to the downside here. So keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from several different sectors here. We've got um, some railroad um, um, that's going to report. We've got some housing um, um, reporting today and that's looking bullish and going up. We're going to hear from um, GE here today. We're going to hear from um, ISRG, some of the healthcare sector. We're going to pick up some more um, regional banks um, out there. Whoops. Can't type. We're going to pick up some industrials. We're going to pick up some big tech. Texas Instruments will be reporting today and after the bell today we have Microsoft probably our most notable and the the kind of stock that can very likely create either a gap up or a gap down Wednesday morning uh, um, reporting after the bell here so kind of keep that in mind as you plan forward now let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please Please do me that favor and that would be clicking that subscribe button and also clicking um, or clicking that thumbs up button um, leaving um, a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that I do truly truly appreciate it now there are quite a few stocks coming up through bottoms um, here in the market and some of those are tech we saw quite a surge into um, some tech names yesterday take a look at that huge move in amd now overall we're still trying to deal with this um, downtrend in the chart but we're trying to break through that break through some resistance levels here in amd we've got these little higher lows coming into the into that chart um, maybe a little bit overextended in the short term maybe look for a little rest or pullback um, to potentially come in there but keep an eye on amd remember it's going to report next tuesday Day, so watch that closely and the thing is we have so many of these stocks that are going to be reporting soon it's going to be a little bit of a difficult thing to um, be spending a lot of time chasing um, these right into their reports because a lot of risk in doing that so uh, just be really careful um, nvidia was another that just was a huge winner yesterday just stretching big time um, um, in this move up and you can see we're slamming right into some major resistance here in the chart so keep an eye it may need a little rest or pullback or it could pop through and then find that little rest or pullback keeping in mind that it's got a couple of weeks here before its earnings report so watch some of those texts they're really starting to push take a look at stocks like um, Generac um, Generac I've placed a price alert on this chart as you can see and we breached that yesterday with this big push to the upside what I'm watching for here is this bottoming pattern we've beat that downtrend we've come up through this bottoming uh, consolidation and now we're popping above that 50-day moving average notice that 50-day moving average is rolling up and we've got a moving average squeeze to the upside so keep an eye on stocks like Generac 
and there's quite a few of those stocks starting to show those patterns. Take a look at a stock like Helena Troy, uh, breaking through, holding that 50, starting to round itself up to the upside. So keep an eye on those. We're seeing quite a few of those patterns setting up here in the market, and I do think it's worth watching. Another one of those would be Amazon. Whoops. Um, take a look at Amazon. Amazon setting up that pattern here. Now this is going to report on um, February 2nd, so watch that close. We don't have a whole lot of time here before this reports, but there's that pattern again, breaking above that 50-day mo moving average, holding that higher low. Watch that carefully. So quite a few of those charts starting to show up um, um, all over the place in the market in different sectors. Um, another thing that I think has been a little bit surprising for a lot of folks is seeing this um, these energy stocks continuing to hold in here pretty strong. Take a look at Halliburton. We ran up here and we smacked our head into this all-time high resistance level in Halliburton. We pulled back, we found this support, and now we're just consolidating right in here. So if this were to hold across this trend, hold right in this area, look for that next opportunity. If those buyers step up in here, we may actually push up through some of those levels. And I saw quite a few stocks in that energy sector that were trying to break some of those areas yesterday. ConocoPhillips, um, ExxonMobil trying to break through. So a lot of energy is showing um, considerable strength here um, in the market. Take a look at some of the commodity things out there, CCJ. My goodness, CCJ showing a lot of strength. Now this is in the uranium um, sector of the market. Um, uranium showing some strength because we've heard that China is planning to build a lot of um, of um, nuclear power here in the near future. So keep an eye on this um, CCJ. You could look at URA, URA also stretching up, UUU. Whoops, need four U's on that. Um, stretching back up, so we're seeing some pretty good moves in that uranium sector might be worth keeping an eye on. And when we talk about commodities, we got to continue to talk about gold. Gold continuing to move higher. We tried to gap down um, yesterday, and those buyers stepped right back in, pushing it right back up. And we're continuing to stretch here to the upside on gold. So watch that carefully. Now, as we approach some of these resistance levels, just keep in mind, we could get some pretty substantial pullbacks in this. You've got to be careful when you chase something this extended, but it is worth keeping a close eye on. And I think silver is also very interesting here. The gap substantially lower, but it is pushing right back up, as you can see. So keep an eye on that silver uh, in, uh, in the market. There may be some opportunities. And you can look at a lot of the miners like GDX, uh, GDXJ, uh, Barry Gold. Here, um, you might also want to take a look at um, stocks like AUY, AU. Um, lots of stocks out there in that gold and silver sector to be paying attention to, so watch them closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for listening today. Thanks so much for being here, for subscribing and being um, supportive of the channel. I do truly appreciate it. Have an awesome day, and we'll talk to you all uh, very, very soon, bright and early Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best.